I'm Maddie. And I'm Simon. And today we're going to be answering more of your amazing animal questions in You Asked. Yeah, we've had some great ones recently. So let's get started. The first one is from NCS626, who says many animals navigate by means of the magnetic field. And if that magnetic field shifted, yeah. would their sense of direction get lost as well? Which is a great question. If that magnetic field was to suddenly just switch overnight, it definitely would affect them. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. But thankfully it's not going to happen. Like, it, it won't just switch overnight, um, <laughs> thankfully. But it will happen. Uh, the poles do switch on quite a regular basis, quite frequently. So last time it did switch, 780,000 yeah. yeah. years ago? 780,000 years, years ago. Yeah. What happened? Do we know if that affected animals at all? Nobody really knows, but when the poles do switch, so the North Pole becomes yeah. South Pole essentially and South becomes North, um, it takes about a thousand or ten thousand years to happen. Right, so it's so quite it's, a slow process. It's a really slow process. They have loads of backup systems as well. Right, okay. So they'll use polarised light. Salmon, for example, will use like, water chemicals to work out where they are. Yeah. Um, and they'll use, obviously, landmarks too. There's loads yeah. of famous cases where Pigeons will use motorways and highways and things like that to see yeah, where yeah. they're going. So if they lose the magnetic field, they've got loads of backups. Right, okay. so, so it's, it's not the deal then. So it's not the deal. So there you go. Next question is from 4006, who asks, why are scorpions fluorescent under UV light? There are quite a few theories as to why scorpions are fluorescent under UV light. Um, one of them is that many scorpions live in the desert where it's extremely hot and it's been suggested that it actually acts as a sunblock. Mm, yeah, I don't buy that. I just, it doesn't make sense. Scorpion for spot? Think about it, scorpions are nocturnal, right? Right, yeah, Why, that's fair enough. You don't apply sun cream before you go to bed, do you? No. No. Another theory is that it just is and that UV is just part of the, the scorpion's exoskeleton makeup and it's just a bit of a useless artifact. So for me, I think the best theory out there is the fact that they reflect UV to help attract insects and therefore food comes straight to them. Yeah. We know that there are many flowers out in the desert that do exactly the same. They reflect UV to help attract desert moths and things like that to help pollination. So if scorpions can mimic that bloom, that blossom, then it's just easy food delivered right to their door. Yeah, it's clever and there is evidence to back that up in that many species of scorpion can live in the rainforest where it's dark and they're under cover and they're not exposed to moonlight in the same way these desert yeah. scorpions yeah. are. They don't have that UV light on their exoskeleton so that does suggest it's got something to do yeah. with the environment they live in. Yeah, interesting. I hope that sheds some light on some. Right, the last question is from Josh Rolk who asks why do men have nipples? Ooh, um, it is a bit of a funny question because obviously they're completely pointless on a man. Um, but the answer is it's quite quite simple. Yeah, I suppose it is. During the early stages of our embryonic development, we are kind of generic human, if you like. We're neither male or female. It hasn't kind of been decided yet. Well, mm. You say that, but we we're, we're following a female blueprint until the testosterone kicks in for those with that Y chromosome. You mean the men? There are other male animals who do have nipples. You know, humans aren't just an anomaly. Um, in fact, sometimes. <laughs> so, the male Dayak fruit bats from Malaysia they yeah. do produce milk, although. It's not been said for certain whether they help to feed the young or not, but they do lactate. Yeah, but then actually you might be surprised to hear that mm. men, male humans, can lactate as well. It's a condition known as galacteria. Right. Yeah, which is um, it's kind of brought on through hormonal changes, stress, and, right. and whatever it can yeah. be. So you can actually. That's produce it. milk, yeah. It's not but, that common. So, I mean, I'm not surprised. I think, I, I mean, I've heard of cases before yeah. where men have produced milk, yeah. but we're, we're not to, like, actually feed a child. <laughs> well, I have heard of an example where... A man can feed a child? Yeah. Really? Yeah. Is that yeah. just like a hormone? But I mean, I think that's a good thing, you know? Shut just the kind of front like... door. Yeah, Are you no, really? Why shut the front door? This is like sharing. Sharing's caring. Do you want to lactate? It's not for me. <laughs> so, the reason men have nipples really is simply because women do. Yeah, I mean, it just hasn't been written out of our development programme yet, so we're stuck with them. Yeah, that's it for this week. Keep your comments coming in. Yeah, and um, obviously subscribe to Earth Unplugged, and we'll see you soon. Bye! Bye!
and it comes from uh, 01MIA09, who asks, do animals commit suicide? Lovely question. I told you. Okay, I've got one for you this time, especially for you. From Miss Dino Gal. She wants to know, why do some animals eat poo when there's other food sources available? 